Yo, what is up guys? I know it has been a while since I've posted, but I have a killer video for you guys today. We're gonna be using some AI art to make stuff like this. Let's get into it. Does your stream need healing? You've come to the right place. My name is Dr. Hills and I'm your content cleric. Around here, we use tools like Canva and other free things on the internet to make really incredible things and make your streams blow up. Today, we're gonna be using an AI art app called Mid Journey. Before we do that, make sure you guys join me over on Twitch. I stream multiple days a week, a lot of times making stuff just like this uh, and other things. But with that said, let's go and jump into it. First thing you wanna do is go to midjourney.com. If you don't already have one, make sure you click join the beta and then everything is gonna be ran through Discord. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and sign into mine and immediately it has everything that I have made, which some of these are of course the tests that I worked on to figure out what we're gonna make right now. And by the way, if you want one of these awesome little characters down there, well, we record these live. And so you're welcome to come to stream, twitch.tv slash Dr. Hills. It'll be linked in the description. Uh, but yeah, so this is all the stuff that you can create in Mid Journey. So it is all AI based and it is through text description. So I actually have an account so I can do it through a bot where I'm the only one chatting. But if you don't, you'll join the Mid Journey Discord. Um, and when you sign up, it'll walk you through all this. Uh, you'll join the Discord and then you'll be able to jump into uh, one of these newbie rooms uh, and you'll have 25 free chances. Now, 25 chances to make this art goes by pretty quick, and so I'm gonna to try to show you what wording you should use to make what you want. I'm gonna show you a few tips and tricks to make the best use out of the 25 tries that you get, and don't worry, I'll explain what this U1, U2, U3, and the, the V1, V2, I'll explain all that, uh, but I'm gonna jump back over here into, oh, where'd it go? Into my private chat with my mid-journey bot because it's a lot less chaotic. Okay. So first thing we're gonna do is we're actually going to look on the Mid Journey site. Once you have an account and you have everything set up, uh, you're gonna look over here. And I'm gonna expand this out. I wanna look at the community feed. So think about what you wanna make, what your goal is. Now, uh, we're going to be making emotes today. So uh, I found a few different ways that work. Um, one is with stickers. So if you type in the word stickers, it will start to show you some different styles, right? Um, I found that these right here, like this style sticker with this um, uh, white outline works really well for a Twitch emote. Uh, but for now, I wanna go with the top stickers and I wanna go for maybe the month. We can go for all time if we choose to. What we're looking for is some ideas. So let's say I wanna make an owl sticker. So I'm just gonna type in owl sticker. I'll show you why we're doing all this. We wanna get some ideas. We wanna make sure what we're actually typing in gives us the absolute best results. So when I find something that I like, I'm gonna click on it. And I'm gonna go down here and I'm going to copy this uh, command. This is what they actually used to get this. And so a couple of things I'm noticing is they did cute, adorable owl sticker, intricate details, uh, Pixar style, no background, and then the test P. Now I'll be honest, I don't remember what test P does, but maybe we try it. So that's what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna jump over here into to Discord. In my bottom, I'm gonna type in slash imagine. And then I'm just gonna paste in what they wrote. They wrote cute, adorable, owl sticker, intricate details, Pixar, no background, test P. Okay, uh, one, I know this test P didn't work because they didn't, uh, that is the correct formatting for those. As you can tell, I use uh, test and creative. Those usually get me good results. Um, but I wanna do a cute, adorable, owl uh, sticker. Um, let's add something a little different. Uh, owl wizard sticker, I wanna make him a wizard. Uh, with intricate details, Pixar, no background. We'll use everything else just the way they sent it. Once you send it, it's going to do this little uh, thing right here where it says waiting to start and it'll start to generate up multiple variations um, of this. And so from there, you'll be able to choose what you like. And so we're gonna let that work and do its thing. Uh, it'll take just a minute or two. You can tell I have uh, fast mode turned on so it shouldn't be too long. Um, but once it starts generating, you'll see that, okay, we're getting actually things forming here. Um, I'm gonna let it do its thing as we continue to look and see if there's anything else that we like. Um, again, I'm thinking for an emote specifically, so I know that I want all of it in the picture. Um, and I'm just looking. So something like this, I think, could make a really, really cool emote. Um, and we don't have to do owl. We could always go with a, uh, what's, an, what's another animal? Uh, sloth. Sloths are popular, right? Surely there's a lot of sloth stickers. 
Uh, yeah, and so you go with these sloth stickers. Or let's see if anyone has done, you guys know I love Star Wars. Let's go with Yoda. Is there any Yoda stickers? Oh, per perfect, right? Uh, and so we could easily generate up. And, and all I'm looking for here is to look for the wording they used. And they just typed in cute Yoda sticker. Now, if we click here, we can actually see if this is a remix of anything else. Uh, and we can, so that this is the parent. So this is what it was made from. Um, so it, it generated one that was an actual sticker. Um, and then if you click here, there's more. But okay, let's go back to Discord and see what it has made for us. All right, this is perfect. This is actually really close to the idea that I had. Uh, I'm not getting as much the wizard thing. I think they've tried to add in a robe here, which kind of gets us there. Uh, but what we're gonna do is I want to expand on this one just a little bit. So from here, uh, what I can do is I can either upscale. So this takes this, what is a small image and it makes it big. Uh, and it will also uh, will expand on some of the details. We'll do that in just a moment. But I actually wanna see some variations of this. And so I'm gonna click V1. So one, two, I'm gonna click V1 to see some variations. So they're gonna take that image and make two more variations off of that. Now you can see how you can do this multiple times. Fair warning, if you are using the free 25 uses that you have, um, each variation will count in as a use. So you get basically 25 uh, clicks, uh, essentially. So uh, you can see we're kind of coming up with some stuff here. I I'm, liking, I'm liking this one. I know we're getting a little further away from the wizard thing that I wanted. Um, and this may be where I'm like, all right, you didn't quite hit the mark. So I'm just gonna hit this and have it redo that as well. Uh, we can have multiple commands running at once. Um, Fair warning, if you're in the Mid Journey Discord, it's very chaotic. There's gonna be a lot happening at the same time. J just, just the heads up right there. And so what if I'm gonna take the same command because this is getting me close to what I want. Um, I'm gonna take that same command. I'm gonna do a slash imagine. Uh, I'm gonna say cute, adorable, owl, wizard, uh, sticker, intricate details. I'm gonna say with a wizard's staff, magical. Uh, intricate details. And we'll just go with something like that. I, I don't exactly know what this is going to do. This is part of the fun. Um, this is why I honestly do encourage you to probably buy a subscription to this because you're going to want to generate up a ton of stuff, okay? Uh, and at, the more you generate up, the more ideas you'll get, the more you'll learn what these little, like, these tests and, and what creative and what these do. And so you can see these are some that I generated up. I was working on uh, some dragon emotes. Uh, and so we went through, we did a lot of these. Okay, so let's say I wanna go with, uh, I wanna go with this one. This one is a good direction for our emote. Um, yeah, it's kind of looking at things. These are interesting, they're different. Uh, let's see, in between, honestly between this one and this one. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with this one. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna click upscale one. U1 means upscale one. Uh, now the upscale will take a little bit longer than the other generations did, but remember it's generating art from scratch. And so, you know, it's kind of impressive with what it's doing here. Um, this one, I don't think is quite hitting what I wanted. Um, let's see, maybe we can add, I'm gonna copy this again. And you guys can see how a lot of this is trial and error. But let me generate up a little closer to what I'm wanting and then I'll jump back to you guys. Okay, so this is the upscale of the one we previously made. I think this is great. Um, we will come back to this in the next step of the emote making. But what I want to do is I want to actually take out the word sticker and this is just pure curiosity on my part and see if it gets me closer to what I want. Okay, so these are coming out a little closer to what I was wanting. Oh man, I really, okay, I'm gonna add a zoom out on this one. That's one of the issues I found with this though guys as I'm working is it's always so zoomed in, which I get it, you can see more of the detail but I want it zoomed out, you know? Okay, so we've generated up some pretty cool things. I actually really like these, but I uh, can't get the thumb out, unfortunately. So maybe we could we could edit around that, we'll see. I'll show you what we're gonna do in Canva now. So we're gonna go and grab the image we want, and I'm just going to copy the image. Uh, I'm gonna open up Canva, create a new design, and I'm gonna do a custom size. I'm gonna do a thousand by a thousand. Once this fully loads up, I'm just going to Control V, and I'm gonna paste in my picture. Oh, I should probably give it a minute, let it fully load in. Uh, so there is the image we're gonna be working with. Uh, now our goal here is to make an emote out of this. You can see I have a couple of these already in here that, that I've done some work with. It is done, so from here we're gonna click Edit Image and I'm just gonna remove the background. Now it should have a pretty easy time removing the background. If not, we'll go through and do some editing to it. And just like that, overall pretty removed. Um, I could go in and, and clean it up if I really wanted to. Um, I could clean up some of these spots just easily with the erase tool, bring this 
brush size down quite a bit and and come in and just really kind of remove it um I'm, I'm personally not going to do that but you could you could spend some time on here uh getting it perfect just the way you want but i'm just gonna click done and apply and so now i have the the start of my new emote now it itself um i think is super interesting but it's an emote we want it to convey emotion and so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make a copy of this one and let's make a love emote right everybody loves a love emote so let's just do um hearts right and i'm gonna i'm gonna shrink him down just a little bit to save some room for hearts uh, i think these are nice right they kind of they kind of match um i don't have any control of the color which i, I would prefer to have control of the color um, but we can kind of adjust these how we want them to go Come over here to edit image. Let's see if we can't do anything with the color. Yeah, so let's jump into maybe Duotone here and I wanna kinda of get a, a nice blue color. And then I can come in here and actually adjust this color a little further to match, say, his color. Just like this. Um, and maybe take a darker color. Or what if we grab, grab like an orange or something? Nah, that comes out a little bit weird. Let's just go with um, that sort of shade of blue. But you can see how we can kind of get these to match. I actually think that uh, doesn't pop out enough. So let's go with the orange of his eyes. So Duotone is one way to do it. And maybe the better option for these would have been using the Colorfy. So let's try that real quick. We're going to go back to None um, or Color Mix. That's what I meant and go with like color mix because this actually should help us keep some of these yeah it keeps these details in there and so now from here i can adjust the hue i have less control this way uh, but i can keep a lot more of the details something like this yeah i think that's that actually kind of looks nice and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna tuck this behind him uh so they're not too in the way there um but yeah you can work with this you can see how you can bring this out and add uh you know a nice love effect but Let's go and copy that. And let's say we're going to make uh, another emote. Very common emote is a angry emote, right? So let's type in anger, right? Yeah, immediately we're gonna grab this one. We're gonna try to strategically place it. Where does an owl get angry? I don't know, something like this, right? We can turn it just a little bit. I don't know. He he's an owl, so this part gets trickier for him. And then let's add Ooh, I don't know. Um, you can keep going through here, see if there's anything else that kind of works for, for the feel that you're going for. Uh, for me, I think that fire always kind of works. Uh, but from here, I can grab some sort of fire. Ooh, what about a ring of fire? I, I, don't, I mean, I don't know if this is the direction we want to go, but this is, this is kind of wild looking, right? This, something like this could be an emote. You could... Come in, edit it, I don't know, add some effects to it, do something crazy with it. Let's go in, uh, let's color, let's do a color mix on it, on this actually. Right, come in, do like some weird color mix with it, I don't know. Bring our saturation down, do just the colors, I, I don't know, I'm just like trying stuff at this point. Uh, but yeah, you could just completely play around with this, I don't think that's the direction we want to go, but yeah, so you can add some like weird cool effects i don't know anyway that's not the direction i was thinking about going i just seen it and wanted to try it but we could easily bring in um some flames and kind of add these flames back here behind him make it look like you know he's he's raging with anger or something right like and i'm gonna click on the flame and i'm gonna click alt and drag to co make a copy of it uh nope and i'm gonna click flip flip it horizontal right bring it in I'm gonna lock this out, so I'll quit clicking it. Bring it in, you know, something like this. We're gonna vary, vary the flames a little bit, like that. But yeah, then you can just kind of toy with it. You can see how you can get kind of the look that you're going for. Um, just adding some fire. We could always come make this match that fire color, uh, or, or anything like that. You kind of have full control. But just a few ideas that you could do here. But on top of that, also inside of, and, and for the record, to download this, you're just gonna click uh, share, and you're gonna go to download. Uh, you wanna do a PNG with a transparent background, and then you can select whichever page you want, or all the pages if you've done them correctly. But if I wanted to just download that most recent one, I could select it here, 
click done and download. And, and just like that, it will download. And now I have a Twitch emote. Now I'm pretty sure Twitch has universally moved to resizing them for you, but if you have to go and make it yourself, like if you have to go and resize it to the, I think it's 128 by 128, 56 by 56 and 28 by 28. If you have to go do that yourself, uh, just look online for a PNG resizer. Um, there are plenty of them um, out there that will do exactly what you need it to do. Um, but just like that, we have that done. But I want to see, um, we regenerated up a few different things. Um, and so yeah, like this, I think is would make a really, really cool emote or this guy right here. Um, and so let's let's see, he's, he's significantly different. Okay, now that is uploaded, uh, do the same thing as we did before, edit image, background remover. Uh, and this background is gonna be a little trickier, I'll be honest. So we'll we'll see what Canva can do with it. That's actually pretty good. Okay, I mean, huh, all right. Just click apply and now we have a whole new one to work with, right? And now maybe this one does work a little bit better with the, that fire that we had earlier and, and you know, put these cool little glasses on him and, you know, do, do, what, do whatever you want with him. Like he's, he's yours, you own this dude. Like, you know, make it however you want. This is like your 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 opportunity to just run wild with your creativity. Um, and, and having access to an art generator like this is, I mean, the possibilities are seriously limitless. All right, so go make whatever you want with it uh, and make sure you show me what you make. So make sure you all join my Discord. I'll have it linked down in the description below. Join the Discord. I have an area there for share your art. When you make an incredible emote with this, do me a favor, share it in there and let me see what you guys made, all right? Guys, I appreciate you so much watching this video. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel. I'm gonna be putting out a ton more videos like this. I have some other creative ideas for using AI art like Mid Journey. So make sure you sub so you don't miss those videos. And make sure you follow me over on Twitch. I stream over there multiple days a week where we play a lot of Dungeons and Dragons. We make art just like this. And we play some other games and just hang out. So I'd love to see you guys over there. I appreciate you and I'll catch you in the next one.